Yes, you will have to wait to watch hockey at Merle Hay Mall. Today we learned the opening of the new Des Moines Buccaneers Arena has been pushed back from late 2023 to early 2025. Only on KCCI, Laura Terrell is live at Merle Hay Mall to tell us what's causing this delay. Laura? Yes, Stacey, the CEO of Merle Hay Mall blames rising interest rates. That's why everything still looks the same here. You can see Yonkers still on the building here right next to the Des Moines Buccaneers sign as it has been for quite a while. The project got some financial help from the state, but she says that money does not go far enough anymore. KCCI was here one year ago tomorrow when leaders held a ceremonial groundbreaking outside the old Yonkers store. That's where 30 3500 seat arena is supposed to go. Mall CEO Liz Holland says construction has not even started yet because of the funding problem, but she hopes to have that cleared up soon so construction can begin later this summer. Holland says while it looks like nothing is going on, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes, a lot of work there to keep the arena on track. I think if you only focus on the construction of the arena, that was really well, that's the jewel in the crown, don't get me wrong. A lot has happened to enable that to now come to fruition. And the state helped make this project happen by allowing more than $26 million in tax revenue generated here to be used for to pay off bonds that finance the arena. Now, we asked today if that money is in jeopardy since the project's delayed. The Iowa Economic Development Authority says that as long as the project is progressing in good faith, the money should be safe. A hotel, practice space, and renovations to the mall are all part of the deal. They're planned somewhere down the road. So we'll keep you updated on that. For now, reporting live outside Merle Hay Mall, Laura Terrell, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.